What is up guys and welcome to today's video where I'll be talking about who I think is the most overpriced players in past few years including this transfer market. So we are going to start off with the striker. Now this also includes news. I'm just going to add that before getting into it. And then we are going to start off with the big player Gonzalo Higuain. Now don't get me wrong, he is an amazing player. He scored 36 goals in Serie A. But why do I think he is overpriced? Because look at that. Arsenal, obviously Arsenal and Juventus both want Higuain. Arsenal wants to buy Higuain with money include money plus Giroud. And Juventus wants him for like, and Napoli is saying them, 79 million pounds. And that is a lot of money. That is for a, play, for a striker that is turning 29 this year. That is a lot of money going to be spent and there's no guarantee that Higuain's going to play amazing at EPL. He just he just particularly did really really well like he was already a decent striker but he just did particularly well last season and then Napoli wants 79 million pounds. That is very overpriced and well his age is getting old as well and then we're going to move on to the next striker who is going to be Alvaro Morata. Now the reason why I put him is, is that I, I, I think that there's a really good chance of Morata leaving Real Madrid to some other clubs. I think it's going to be some of the Premier League clubs, someone like Chelsea or maybe Arsenal. But he's connected with £57 million. And for a player that scored 7 goals in Serie A last season, Morata... 57 million pounds like I know he's a good striker for Spain and well he's young so he got a lot of potential but I don't think he's really worth that money so we're gonna move on to the left mid and this one has been already made and it is last season transfer and you know who I'm gonna talk about it's Raheem Sterling who can be more overpriced than him 49 million pounds is just it's just absolutely crazy like Man City just did something wrong they screwed up really bad sterling was well before man city signed him sterling was one of the good young stars like he was proven to the premier league kind of but he wasn't that amazing he wasn't he, he wasn't he shouldn't be the most expensive player the most expensive english player i should say and then we're going to move on to the right midfielder or well he also plays striker or in the left wing as well but I put him in the right wing anyway because why not we got Sadio Mane now Liverpool recently signed him for a price of 34 million pounds and a lot of people laughed about it because it was so expensive um I'm not too sure I haven't really seen him play but I'm pretty sure he played pretty good in the EPL but 34 million pounds is a little bit overpriced for a player like Mane who is not world class because look at 34 million pounds look how many good players you could get with 34 million pounds and then Liverpool signed the Mane could it be the next Benteke we're going to move on to the centre mid and this one is probably the biggest one I'm going to be talking about today it's Paul bloody Pogba and don't get me wrong again he's an amazing player like obviously he was a little bit disappointing in the Euros but he didn't play absolutely horrendous. Rooney should have been in the worst XI instead of Pogba. Because Pogba, well, he played he played good in some games. Like against Iceland, he played really, really good. But obviously, he wasn't up to that expectation. And the transfer price of £100 million. I don't think, I don't think Man United should spend that money. I think Zidane is smart enough, so he's probably not going to... And first of all, Real Madrid don't need another centimetre. They got Cruz... They got Modric, they got a lot of good sentiments, but Man United probably needs Pogba. So I'm, not, I'm just going to say that Man United do need Pogba for a hundred million pounds. Probably shouldn't really happen, should it? And then we're going to move on to the other sentiment position and he's a sentiment position. I, I put him at sentiment position, but he's not, he's a winger. But I decided to put him at sentiment position anyway, because I just had to add him in. And it is Jordan Ibe. Now... If you look at him, compared to someone like Pogba or someone like Higuain Sterling, I've moved to Bournemouth for only 15 million pounds. And some people might say, well, that is, that, that's like nearly one tenth of the price as Pogba. 
but Ibe is, I mean, he's not even proven. He's, it's like worse than Sterling's case. And then for Bournemouth, I don't know what they're trying to do. So they decide to spend 15 million pounds on a player and they get Jordan Ibe. And I'm sitting there like, well, great job, Bournemouth. You just wasted your money. And then we're going to move on to the left back, who is an actual left back. And it is Luke Shaw. Once again, um, move, well, it happened a few seasons ago, maybe two, one or two, two seasons ago, this transfer happened. Another English player, and as you can see here, so far the squad I made is all from the English Premier League. And that is the problem with the English Premier League. All the players become so expensive. English players are so overpriced for absolutely no reason. Well, actually, there's some reason that, you know, obviously some club need, um, you need minimum amount of players in a club that's why probably their prices are so overpriced but Luke Shaw is a decent like he was decent at Stoughton and then Man United decided to buy him so I was like okay why not for 30 million pound I'm not too sure that should have happened because the next player we are going to have a look at is going to be John Stones who is also pretty overpriced because Everton is wanting 50 million pounds for this guy and I just don't think Stones is worth that much. Yes, he's a bright future of England's defence but then he didn't even really play well last season. He was well, some of the media say he was one of the worst player, one of the worst centre-backs. I didn't really think he played that bad, but he did make a few mistakes. And then for a 50 million pound defender, I don't think he's really worth, I don't think he's that good enough. We're going to move on to the next centre-back. And this one is also not confirmed transfer yet, just like um, Stones, but high chance of moving is Leonardo Bonucci. And then, don't get me wrong, he's a really, really good defender for Italy and Juventus. Very much need a player for Juventus as well. But Juventus is asking £45 million pound for this guy. And I'm just like thinking, well, he's getting... In, he's nearly getting into his 30s, so he's only got a few more seasons of good performance to, you know, play. And then £45 million pound is, is just a little bit overpriced for him. And then we're going to move on to the right-back position, but I'm going to add a centre-back, because I can't really think of a right-back. Um, we're going to have Eliquim Mangala here. Now, obviously, moved from FC Porto a few seasons ago, so it happened a few seasons ago, but I'm going to add him anyway, because... Because in the first season, he didn't play well. And then everyone thought that, well, it was just his first season. Next season, he's going to play well. That didn't really happen. He's still playing very poorly. After company left, Man City's defense is like shaking. Um, I don't even want to mention Demi Kelly's spot. Um, Mangala was one of the, you know, poor, one of the poor side of Man City as well. And then he cost Man City 31.8 million pounds, which is so overpriced. I know poor Toad. They like produce a lot of good plays, they sell a lot of young plays, they get a lot of money but I think Mangala wasn't a really good transfer for Man City and we're going to move on to the goal position but I'm going to add a striker here and it is going to be the transfer from last season who is Christian Benteke. Probably wasn't worth 32.5 million pounds. I don't know what is with Liverpool and then just making those bad deals. I don't think I, I don't think this should happen. They should make like better deals. They signed so many players and then they barely got any successful ones. I mean, Milner was one of the successful ones and he was for free transfer. So this will be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe and goodbye.